Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, Brent Bromberg, and you guys look absolutely amazing today. And in this horror news movie review, I'm going to be talking about Halloween 4. Yes, Halloween 4, part 2. Let's just check this out and see what's going down. So yeah, I'm just going to free talk here a little bit about what's going down with the Halloween franchise. Just because there was an article that came out from the director and writer of part four. Well, the director of part four. And he said that, you know, that he's actually pitched a whole story to the Akkads about this. And we do know that Miramax has the acquisition of the Halloween franchise. And they're going to make a cinematic universe with it. But what are they going to do with it? They got TV rights. They got movie rights. You know, and this director from part four, Dwight, he said that he's already, you know, pitched a, you know, a story to them. And this was probably before the acquisition with Miramax. But anyways, Dwight H. Little says, let Jamie and Rachel be grown up now and let Michael come back and fucking start terrorizing them. I don't know, he didn't say that, but let them be grown up and let's get Daniel Harris back and Ellie Cornell back too because we'll say Rachel never died in part five and they can continue the story with them because how dynamic were them two together? Man, the chemistry between them in part four was absolutely amazing and they can continue that in the new part four, part two. So they were going to say, we'll even, you know, not confuse the fans. And let's not confuse the fans. We're going to tell them exactly what this movie is. It's Halloween Part 4, Part 2. So Halloween 4, Part 2. Man, that would be awesome. And like, why wouldn't they do that? You know how many freaking people will be standing in line waiting to buy a ticket to see that? Because arguably part four is probably the best sequel in the halloween franchise and a lot of people do believe that they like that i mean you got the original og michael myers from 1978 and then you got halloween part four was it the return of michael myers because you know after part two and then we have part three with seasons of the witch which was absolutely awesome but it didn't have no michael myers and you had to wait all through the 80s to finally get to part four and it is a great story and yeah the mask is a little bit off in it but they can like definitely you know make the mask better in it in the new one and like they're saying you know we got a whole tv series we got um a cinematic universe where you can have a tv series and movies at the same time and maybe them playing off of each other but why not why not just go ahead and give us a full length movie of halloween 4 part 2 with rachel and jamie still alive and they're grown up now and you still get daniel back and and ellie back and they're down for it and the fans would be freaking it would just be amazing dude i would get chill bumps if that would ever happen i mean that is almost a dream like wish scenario to get both of those actors back in a halloween movie and continuing from part four because they can just throw part five away and that's what they're doing you know with these franchises lately they just be like oh no we're just going off of part one and part two or whatnot and this disregard all of the other sequels of that franchise and with them owning the rights to it why not let's just do it and that would be so cool um yeah so there was just a little bit of horror movie news of halloween and uh yes i'm a big halloween fan love them love michael myers and so uh yeah if you guys want more horror movie news make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe and hit that bell because you'll be notified on my next video. And remember, you guys, you keep it whore. Later.